Yelani. Yeah. Why are you crying? Our show just got canceled. What do you mean? Our show, we didn't can't make another fourth episode. <laughs> it it was renewed for another episode. What? It was renewed for another episode. But let's see what other people have to say about this issue. Brianna, how do you feel about the man who climbed out of his hotel in order to not pay the bill? What? How do you feel about the man who tried to climb 19 stories down so he wouldn't have to pay his hotel bill? <laughs> well, I feel that's just him being cheap. And that's a very poor way of mobility, but I guess that works for him. How do you feel about the man who tried to climb 19 stories down so he wouldn't have to pay his hotel bill? It's a very creative, evasive maneuver. <laughs> and it's, it's not a good idea, but I mean, whatever works for you. Yes. All right, so back to Dolly with more news. Syphilis. <laughs> Syphilis. Syphilis is a bacterial infection that can lead to sores, rashes, blindness, and approximately 600 600 births were affected by syphilis and 45 of which resulted in um, children either dying at birth or being stillborn. One important and dangerous characteristic of this um, infection is that um, often it doesn't really show any signs and um, the CDC as well as other medical associations are trying to have um, STD test, testing be an implemented part um, in prenatal care. In entertainment news, unfortunately this week, Monty Hall, host of the Timeless Game Show Let's Make a Deal, has passed away at 92 years old. He was found in his home by Richard Hall, his son, on October 2nd in Beverly Hills. The cause of death for the television pioneer is likely due to heart failure. Damn it, Jeremy, I asked for decaf. This is regular coffee. Anyways. <laughs> Hello everybody, for today's national economy we're going to be talking about the UK and the fact that their service industry has actually gone out of the hole. We're going to be talking about how their 11 month loss on their service department has actually come back. That means that there's electricians now, there's plumbers now, and so now crap doesn't have to hit the ceiling. Tuesday, October 2nd, 2017, approximately 2,000 um, Fresno Unified School District teachers um, voted to uh, <clears throat> go on a strike against their district due to their demands for a new contract not being met. The demands include smaller class sizes, um, better pay, and a change to the health insurance that they get. And uh, they, the vote was overwhelmingly yes. But before they're able to actually carry out their strike, they need to go through um, several procedures um, dealing with the, the district. This week in sports news for California, tennis. The women's tennis tournament is ready to start at the 33rd annual Riviera ITA All-American Championships. The tournament has begun last weekend, but for pre-qualifying matches. This week is going to be for qualifying draw matches for singles and doubles. I hope you all guys enjoyed this final episode of Duff News because we were finally canceled. So don't come back next time. See ya, everybody.